This is in-depth tech reviews and we have here the all new Pixel 3 XL. I have been using this phone for the past month and with no doubt it feels solid and premium as you would expect from a flagship phone. The sides of the phone are made from metal except that the front and the back are made from glass. You will immediately notice that this is not just a normal glass however this is the new frosted glass material that feels really soft to touch with minimal fingerprints. Also the buttons of this phone feels solid and clicky and finally the wireless charging is here. The other big improvement that Google made this year is the display. Google used the Samsung panel other than the LG panel used in the Pixel 2 XL. The colors looks better and the display is brighter. I also noticed when I put them side by side that watching 4K videos is much smoother on the Pixel 3 XL. The display of the Pixel 3 XL is flat unlike the curvy one used in the Pixel 2 XL which looks better to my eyes and I found it much easier to get a screen protector for. And the notch, yes it doesn't look that good but I didn't find myself hit using the phone because of it. The notch has the same length of the Pixel 2 XL top bezel, the bottom bezels are identical however the side bezels are slimmer. So let's jump into the audio and I recommend wearing your headphones to easily spot the difference. is the camera. In this section I'm not gonna go through each and every feature of the camera however I will show you real life scenarios for the two most interesting features in my opinion. And as you may know Google just released the night sight feature and that's the first thing we're gonna talk about so let's get started. This shot has been taken in complete darkness and you can barely see my legs here. However, I let night sight do its magic and here is what I got. So let me show you some more examples here. When I compared Night Sight to the Pixel 2 XL, I got pretty much the same results, thanks to Google's software tricks. However, the images on the Pixel 3 XL are a little sharper. Super Res Zoom As you may know, Google just using a single lens, so you won't be able to get the 2x optical zoom of the telephoto lens. However, Google used its software tricks to enhance the zoom even at low light. It produces better results, however, there is no much of a difference between the Pixel 3 and the Pixel 2 XL in this part.
Next is a speed test between Pixel 2 and the 3 XL. In Need for Speed Most Wanted, the Pixel 2 XL loaded the game faster, however the 3 XL loaded the actual race faster. This also happened in Asphalt, so it seems to be like a software optimization issue that will hopefully be fixed in the next software updates. So as you can see the Pixel 3 XL is clearly the winner here. Let's move on to the RAM management. And I found that both phones are not doing a great job here. All the apps are reloading on both phones, I thought that this is only related to the Pixel 3 XL, but it seems to be an Android Pie related issue. However, Google confirmed the software fix for this issue. So this is pretty much it for today and I hope you like this video, please hit the thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe for more reviews.